Hello students, we are back with the part 14 of the previous year question series of your CUET 2024 SCQB 12, which is for your food science and technology. I'm Devyanshu Gupta, your mentor for food science and technology. And here we have been discussing your questions, which were asked in 2022 and 2023 paper. We deep dive into the questions and have a better insights as to what can be the probable answer for a particular question and what is the particular reason for it being the answer. So straight away going to the first question we have. It is an assertion reason based question and they have given oxidative rancidity primarily occurs in unsaturated fatty acids. Yes, it happens due to presence of lipoxygenase in foods and hydroperoxides that are formed that produces smaller volatile compounds responsible for rancid odors. This is also correct and it is explaining the first statement properly. So both assertion and reason are true and the reason is the correct explanation of A. So first is the right answer for this question. Coming on to the next question we have, which of the following statement is incorrect with respect to hard weeds? So some three options will be right and one will be wrong. So fragmentation of the endosperm tends to occur along with the lines of the cell boundaries. Yes, it is correct. Then yields very fine floor. No, it is not because hard weed tends to give a coarser floor. Then used in making breads. Yes, and has a higher gluten content that we also know because your hard wheat contains higher gluten content and your soft wheat contains a lower gluten content. And that is why it is used for making breads and soft wheat flour is used for making your muffins and cakes and all the related products. So second is the answer for this question. Then coming on to next, we have during drying, the rate of heat transfer is calculated using which formula? So you will see that the following formulas are quite similar. So uh, only the person who has been thorough with the formula can only determine uh, which is the right option. So second is the correct formula, which is Q is equal to HSA theta A minus theta 3. So this is the right answer for this question. Then which disease condition is caused due to deficiency of folic acid? So straight away, a simple easy question. Megaloblastic anemia is caused because of deficiency of folic acid and it is a deficiency disease. So one of the easy questions I can say coming on to the next question we have what type of solution is needed for crystallization of sugar so I guess many of you have done this experiment in your uh, school and bachelors also that you will mix a sugar inside water and then you will heat it until it becomes super saturated so as I said the answer super saturated solution is required for crystallization of sugar only after it a super saturation stage only you can uh, see recrystallization of sugar is happening so third is the right answer for this question then another assertion reason based question whipping of cream refers to beating of cream to produce foam yes it is right then reason is given these foams are produced when air cells are surrounded by thin film of flat droplets which are stabilized by the film of protein. So you'll find that this type of foam will be formed. So this is the usually structure which is formed. So reason is correctly explaining the assertion. So both assertion and reason are correct and reason is the correct explanation of assertion. So first is the right answer for this question. Be very specific with the concept and read the lines one and two times again. I have attended this paper. That's why I'm able to answer the question. But I'll request you to pause this video. First of all, read the question yourself and then analyze which can be the option and then see the right answer for this question because in that way it will be much more fruitful for you. So coming on to the next question we have the benefit, uh, the beneficial effects of dietary fish are due to the presence of. So we have been uh, uh, advised by our elder people that we should incorporate fish in our diet because it is rich in omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acid. So uh, it is containing large amount of omega-3 fatty acids which are your EPA and uh, DHA. So docosahexanoic acid and eicosapentaenoic acid. So remember this fish oil are containing these omega-3 fatty acids. Then heating of oil causes a breakdown in its molecular structure and is referred to as straight away pyrolysis is the answer second option so second is the right answer for this question so here we come to the end of the part 14th of this series in which we have been discussing the questions which are asked in CUT 2023 paper 2022 paper we have already covered in the previous videos uh, from set 1 to set 9 we have been discussed discussing 2022 paper and from 10th onwards to 18th we'll discuss 2020 
three papers. So stay connected with us. We'll be soon posting the part 15. And if in case you have any doubt in any of the questions, you may comment on your queries. We'll be very happy to answer all your doubts. And if in case you want to join our crash course, then you may contact on the number given on the screen. They'll be very happy to guide you through all the procedures. And if in case you want a better explanation on any of the topic which you are feeling difficulty in, then you may connect with me directly. I'll be very happy to clarify all your doubts. So this was all for this video and thank you for watching. You may share this video to all of your friends who are right now preparing for a CVT exam and all the best for your exam. That's all I can say. So thank you all.